morning. Um, we're going to do lips. Um, I've already got my face prepped. I have washed it. I have put um, moisturizer on it. And I have also used um, the primer before I put my foundation on. And then I did my cheeks and I sculpted. Now we're just going to, I'm going to do a video on the lips. And I'm going to do a separate video on the eyes so it doesn't get too long. And then you can kind of look and see which video you'd like to watch and for what you need. And I'll do a video on um, foundation too. But I'll probably do that a different day. So let's go ahead and get started with the lips. Um, I am going to use today, I'm going to tell you the name of the lip liner. It's, I'm all crooked here. Okay, so the lip liner is Peppy. And then I'm going to use this splash color. I don't think I can see the name on the bottom. Ooh, maybe we can if we put it a little closer. Um, I am going to have to use a magnifying glass to see that. If you want to know, message me below. Um, and I've also started with um, my lip mask. I already put that on today. Probably could have used a little bit more. So let me just take a little of my lip scrub. And that's got the good stuff in there too. So what I'm going to do is just put that on a little bit, get a little bit more, more moisture. My lips are really bad, remember. So if you've got pretty lips, I'm jelly. Okay, just underneath the lip line a little bit. And then we're going to go right to the corner and up. So we're going to follow that. I'm not going to take that all the way into the crease. Um, not so much the bottom lip, but the top lip. If you pull that down all the way, um, it's going to draw your smile line downward. <clears throat> so you're going to do everything to lift up. So we are going to look where this line ends as it's going up. And that's where we're going to begin. Now I have very peaked lips, but I don't like that look. So I'm taking that, that drastic peak out. Um, and if you like the peak, you can put it in. What's nice about lips is um, you can make them look the way you want them. I pretty much think that's anything with makeup. It's just learning how to do it. So I went to the peak and I kind of went across the middle so that I didn't have that deep dip down. And it also gives me or creates the lip look um, of a plumper lip. You can take and do the little X in the middle if you want. See how that kind of gives you a little bit of a peak without the the rooftop. All right, now I'm going to go down here just a hair. Not sure the look I'm going to get today. I love to just look in my drawer and be like, ooh, I think I want to try that today. The sharpener came off in the top. Always roll those down in. Those tips are little. They're nice and fine. They're beautiful for your lips, but if you forget to roll them in or you push too hard, you have it up too far, and then you push it and it cracks off and then you feel like you're going to cry. At least I do. Okay, so this lip splash is very pigmented. I personally don't use a lot. See? Now I'm just going to take my finger. This is not a lip stain, okay? Although, I will say, it wears like one. Um, stay tuned, because if you do like lip stain, I may have something coming for you. Okay, as always, I don't like my lips quite that stark. Um, they do look really pretty. The color's really pretty, but boy, do these girls need some help up here, right? And that's going to be in video two.
Okay, I'm going to mute that out. Kind of gives me a nice little double line there. I'm going to go in a little bit more in the middle. That's more of a jam. Okay, so that is it for lips right now. If you would like to follow along um, for the eyes, we are going to use, I believe it's palette number nine. It's the only one that is in this uh, rose gold color. And we are going to go on with the eyes. So I will talk to you all later. If you have any questions on the lips or want to know the colors that I use, comment below and I'll pop them in there. Have a great day.